Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy here today bringing you the best rank play class setups These are basically my competitive setups, but just a little bit different for ranked play because uh, obviously playing a little bit more selfish So let's get into it. All right, first off. We're gonna start with our respawn classes. There are four of them two of them are the same Well, actually, yeah two and two are the same. They're just different guns different you guys will see what I'm talking about Okay, so first we got our assault rifle. We got the battle 27 Lightweight, fast hand toughness, blast suppressor, obviously the givens on this class. Got overclock to move faster, and then two stun grenades. And the fast hands helps with those stun grenades because you're shooting them out quicker. So you need fast hands on this class. Also, you tap your um, over exo ability quicker, but overclock you don't even tap it anyway, so it doesn't really matter for that. But then let's move down to this. We got lightweight overcharged. And to get overcharged, we substituted fast hands and the stun grenade. Took both of those off. Overcharge is obviously going to give me more time on my overclock. Can get around quicker. This is typically my CTF slash uplink class. Um, and then this is more of my, that's more of my hard point, um, hard point only class. So this is a hard point class and this is over, um, not overclock. This is uplink slash CTF. Next, we're going to go into the ASM1. Same exact setups. Like I said, just a little bit different. We have the ASM1 now. Fast hands, double stun, same thing as the Bow 27 class. Then we're going to go down one. We have the same thing again as the previous Bow class. We got overcharged, substitute the fast hands and the stun grenade. And um, yeah, those are my competitive uh, respawn classes. All right, now we're going to go through and do the SND classes. Now, this is where I have a lot of variation. SND is a game type where there's a lot of meta, a lot of mid-game changes, obviously a lot of different strategies that you're going to be using. So this is why I have a shit ton and I mean that. I have a lot, a lot of different Search and Destroy classes. So put on your attention caps right now. We're going to roll through them as quickly as possible. There are six of them. Uh, I believe I have four ASM1 classes and different variations. And then I have two bow class variations. So here we go. First, we have this class right here. And I'm going to tell you why we have this class right here. So Exo Mute. Obviously, you're going to have people with headsets such as myself. Um, people are going to be sound whoring you. If you don't have mute on, it's a lot easier to hear people. You can hear them almost halfway across the map on probably about over 50% of the maps. So if you don't have mute on, you're going to be in a lot of trouble in Search and Destroy. I mean, it's not necessary. It's not 100% needed, but it's definitely going to help you out. It's going to give you an advantage if they don't know where you are by hearing you. So we have overcharged on for that, so we have a longer mute. And then we have one frag in the back pocket because honestly... I had no idea else what to put on. You could substitute fast hands to tap your XO mute a little bit quicker, but I don't really think it's necessary. This is a pretty good class um, for XO mute. Next, we have this class. This is where things get a little bit more tricky, where things get a little bit more metagame oriented. So in this class, we have fast hands, obviously. We have two things that we can tap. So we have our XO mute and our trophy system. Um, actually, I'm not sure if you tap trophy system. That's not 100%. I'm not sure about that. But you have your fast hands, um, obviously tap stuff quicker. Then you have mute and trophy. Now, this is for a very, very specific push. I'm obviously not going to tell you guys the push because if my competitors are watching, then it wouldn't be good if they know where I'm pushing and what I'm doing and search and destroy. But this is a really, really good class. It's a really, really strong class so you don't get naded, you don't get stunned. Uh, it's just a really all-around great class for search and destroy. Next, we're going to move on to this class. This is the rushing class. So this one is sort of a rushing class. Can be a hybrid, sort of. But then we have this one. This one's a straight rush class. Obviously, we have overclock on if we're going to be rushing. Trying to get to places quicker. Exo mute on with the tactician. Uh, fast hands to tap it quicker. And yeah, the rest is the necessaries. Lightweight, toughness, uh, blast suppressor. All that good stuff. So this is the last ASM1 class we're moving on to. This is my overkill class. This is whenever I'm trying to get a pre-snipe. Uh, sniping a bomb, making sure they're not rushing, things like that. So we have lightweight. This class has like nothing on it either. This is a very, very selfish class. We have lightweight, toughness, blast suppressor, and then we have obviously go down. We have the moors. We have the moors with the variable zoom. Um, the variable zoom is the best scope for the moors. I'm, I, I, pretty sure. I mean, it's all preference, but I feel like that is the best. You know, hands down. Then we have mute again, just because mute is so necessary. Take a look at that class. That's my sniper overkill class. Next, we're moving on to the bows. Same thing as the previous class with the ASM-1. Now we just have the bow set up. Um, we have the overkill. Obviously, the moors with the variable zoom again. This one is a little bit... I use this one a lot less than I use my ASM-1. This map, this um, class setup is really only for one map, and that's recovery. 
This one can be used on pretty much any map. It can be used on any map, but this one I only use on Recovery, Search, and Destroy. Uh, the one with the yellow stones and the thing that the magma shooter and the doors open mid-map. It's a shitty map, but regardless, this is for my recovery. This is only recovery. Next, we're going to move on to the last class. This is as basic as a class as you're going to get. I mean, you have double stuns, fast hand, exo mutability with the bow. I barely ever use this class, but when I do, um, it's whenever I'm pretty much getting destroyed and I have no other reason or no other way to go. So I'll just pull out this class and, you know, hopefully turn things around and do a little bit better. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed my class setups. If you did, make sure you drop the video a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you guys want more competitive videos like this, um, I'll be glad to do them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. As always, this is your boy Optic Scumpy. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, we'll see you. I played fucked up that intro, okay.